Welcome back guys in, in another backtesting session and um, we are currently analyzing the June 23rd uh, intraday analysis and how it played out. Uh, we already know uh, since it's not the purpose of the um, of this series of videos um, to mm, do fresh analysis. We already know where the price will go, we are going to uh, to see that it plays out the safe buys above 1789, the which is the key level and the last resistance, which is why uh, we are going to try and understand the entry point the more accurately as possible. So on the hourly time frame, as you can see, we are close to London session. We are in a range between 1772.5 and um, the last lower high was 1789 key level. That's why we are considering safe buys uh, above 1789, even though we could have uh, 1784 um, price sensitivity area here marked up. Let's see if we can add something to the already made analysis. Maybe we can um, find that we missed something. We're going to jump on the one minute time frame, as always, and we're going to start our London session. So we're going to take advantage of 1789, and we'll see if we can get an entry even here, 1785 um, area, a price sensitivity area which was on the hourly time frame. As you can see, let me just close it here. Perfect, I don't want to update it. So we are seeing a London pullback, as we always see, expecting a uh, uh, London uh, start and pullback. Let's jump on the one hour. As you can see, it's creating, okay, now it's much better for you guys always push uh, down, retest some levels, some uh, previous lows, and then if we want to continue up, we continue up. Um, but this is something that we all, uh, now expect from London Open. Of course, now we can easily go down to the previous low. We are not predicting anything. We are just following the market and uh, based on our analysis try to catch some waves especially as a scalpers as we are as i am more than we are but we see it looks like uh, the slow london we saw the first hour pu pull back and now we are pushing reacting in the previous eyes as you can see and going into the second hour of London session in a few minutes, in four minutes. Okay, now we are starting already pushing up. Very good. Remember, all this is just noise. We can uh, put a trend line here to say, okay, uh, we are in a bullish trend because we are printing lower highs, lower lows, but we want our price sensitivity area to as a reference point. Let's see now if we have some reaction here and possibly an, an entry which was not in the analysis. Ooh, maybe we find that we missed something. Now we have a reaction, let me use an eyes. Let's see how far we are retesting the previous one minute eyes after reaction of the hourly 
price sensitivity area. Those cycles will be tested, and now if I continue up, as you can see, another reaction, but we are still, we were still reading lower highs. Now we are still in a sort of order block reacting perfectly on at these lows of the order block. And we are back into the range. Be mindful that in 10 minutes we have an hour new hourly candle. Seventeen eighty one. Here do we have any Alice High World sales below seventeen eighty one? No, not much clear reaction. And especially after having these lows during the night, you cannot confidently take sales below here if we if you don't have enough range. Maybe a safer sales below these previous lows, but now. So let's see if we manage to break above this level. Okay, very impulsive, strong reaction. Let's see how this one closes. Okay, let's see the reaction at this previous size. Okay, sellers are not strongly able to correct the bullish move up until now. <laughs> you see this area sensitivity area that we marked up in the morning uh, was really really effective uh, to as a resistance for price. So this gives confirms that if we break above not even waiting for 1789, we can have some nice trades, some nice scalps. Let's see how it plays out, when it plays out, if it's still doing London session or we have to wait for New York. We still have two hours to New York, we have the hourly close, we are retesting the key level, 1781, as a scalper, we have to be aware that we still have the high risk high reward cells below 1781 to take advantage if we see clear bearish and sellers in control. Looks like now we are still printing lower highs unless we break above the previous one. New hourly candle. We are in a big range. If you go on the hourly time frame, you see our price has been ranging. Now we are closing above the top of the order block, retesting it. And now we should see a con either a continuation. Um, I think we have to wait for New York. Let's see. Nasty range, but now we see some very bullish, aggressive immediately corrected by bears, crazy. Okay, looks like we are pushing slowly, pushing above, we still have one hour to till New York. 
if this was a, a London only London session, it would be a no trade for me. We see if we go towards New York, if we see some nice actions above the the price sensitivity area. Okay, we see a retest of the level and immediate reaction. So this was a nice liquidity grab and immediate reaction at the key level. So maybe now we, it's time in New York to see a nice push above the key level after this liquidity grab. We are coming towards London Open in 20 minutes uh, and New York Open in 20 minutes. Okay, London Op uh, New York Open now. Really made a week, no lower week yet. Okay, let's see if it made it now, it made a lower week. So now we can have price continuing up. Okay, finally in New York, we are breaking above the previous price sensitivity area. Let's see if we find a break and retest setup, which was not in my pre-planned analysis. Um, we were looking only of I just kind of wonder if price does not close below. This was nice, actually. Didn't consider now. So if I buy it, we break and retest of 17.89. You see, but failing to break below, even in New York. We could have entered here, here. But let's stick to our plan. Do we have a retest of the, key of the level? Okay, wow, this was massive, and uh, let's, li let's see it again. This turned bullish, very, very strong. Okay, if we see, Let's go on the next one. Okay, if close bullish, I would have considered entries with 15 pips stop loss, but this reaction is not looking good for me. And these are candles that can take you out 15 pips without any giving any value. So uh, I will wait for, for entries. Let's see if we, okay, if we have a clean, retest of the level and not uh, that impulsive that crazy so this one is reacting let's see where it closes closes um, above the price sensitivity area and let's see the next one okay traveling down oof oof that was nasty that was nasty, I gotta say. This is crazy. 20 pips candles. Let's see if we have some close below 1781 for some quick sell scalps instead of uh, buying bias. Okay, let's see if this retest can be considered a retest. Let's go on the hourly time frame. We are closing below the previous low. We have this range to fill. I feel like I, uh, I 
I chose the wrong day, but it is, it is what it is. Um, we might consider cells. Let's see how it moves. Okay, when I want to see it on bullish, turning bearish, possibly closing bearish, closing below here to give it a nice, to confirm that it was a retest. If it closes above, of course, we don't enter. Exactly, that's what not what we want to see. But let's see where it closes. It closes above, so no entry yet. Reaction at the key level, failing to break below now. Now we are closing below. We might consider um, the retest completed. We now have 10 pips, but closed above. So, no, cons this is an order block. I don't want to touch it. Very, very impulsive candles. Let's see. When it closed, it closed at 15, 50%, more or less a 50%. Wow, wow. No trade for me, for sure. Look at this price sensitivity area, how is reacting on the dot. That is crazy for me. I'm just going because I'm not taking any trade. Okay, even with now we have New York Stock Exchange open in now. Okay, so let's see the moves. Lower week, perfect. Nice, 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 nice. That is nice. Let's see if we break above again. Okay. Of course, now I'm not going to take entry here, only if we break above, but safe is still uh, above 17.89. This is a nice retest, actually. A nice one. We have the New York Stock Exchange uh, volume, break, retest, and continuation up. That's a 32 can uh, pips candle. This I called it. This is a nice retest. Let's go on the safe above 1789. This was a Wednesday, so actually Wednesday is the day that I trade on New York. So it's good. Let's see if we close above. Let's see if we have a retest of the level. Okay, nice, nice. Let's see if it, it was it and it goes, or if we have a deeper retest. Okay, here, I like it. Now let's go really slow and see this one. It's already going. We can give it 10 pips. This is nice. 10 pips. Buys. And take profit here. We are still well below the key level. Well, a few, three pips. Um, let's see now if it continues up. I'm taking advantage of the momentum now, right now. Ooh, that was nasty. That was like that was the retest. Jesus, that was nice. Let's see how close is this one. Okay, I re-enter. I don't fucking care. Tuck, I re-enter. That was that was it. Uh, the first entry was rushed. Now this is it. Okay, perfect. Now as always. We take partials, 75%, tuck, we go to break even, awesome. 
let's see if we go to take profit which is we are now at 32 pips with a 10 pips stop loss is a 4 to 1 I'm closing now everything awesome awesome okay it did go to the next almost to the next level let's see if you touch it pew 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 huge